Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do a an easy storage project. I'm going to take a box, not this particular box because this is a brand new box that I've got to send things in. So I'm not going to use that box but that's an example of the kind of box you can use. This is just a postal box. They cost like a dollar seventy five, something around that. Um, and you know if you get mailed a box you can use the the box that you have I've got a couple of different boxes here that I'm going to be covering the first one is a tea box that I was sent by my daughter for my birthday it's a nice sturdy box now I can either use this to post something in or I can just decorate it up um, for a storage box which is I think what I will do the second one is this lovely box here and this was one that Eva Safariado sent some goodies in for me some happy mail and it's a nice foam box and I thought well I popped her things inside well some of them inside here um, I'm going to decorate just the outside not so much the inside so that I know that that's who they are from and it's a nice storage box then I have this one and this is actually this is you can faintly see that this box is the same kind of box as this one but it's bigger this was a box sent to me by Robin Osborne some time ago and I kept it. It did get a little bit damaged in the mail. You can see there's some tape over it um, and around it as well. And I've already painted it ready for decorating. What have I got in here? Oh, I got some. Oh, yes, yes. I've got um, my Crafty Me shop things and that's why I need more storage because the boxes I already had for my beautiful laces are full and I, I've made a purchase myself and then I was gifted some and then I've got my design package so I need some more storage so what I'm going to do is decorate these boxes up and I'm going to use some of the um, my design projects for crafty me shop to do that with as well now like I said I've already painted this just to um, cover up those that printing I won't have to do that to the foam box of course but to the tea box uh, it's white everywhere so that's really good I will just um, either paint the top oh hang on maybe I can rip that off and that would be easier that way it's not so bright I can rip that off and lightly paint over that or cover it in white paper whichever um, is easiest this one's empty already and like I said I'm not going to do the inside of the boxes I can just put a bit of tissue paper on the inside but it's mainly to make it pleasing to the eye for me in my room um, and store my goodies in in a cheap and very easy and that is the key word here it's very easy to do okay I'll be back in a moment okay so I have just cut a piece of um, this paper here this is just I've got a roll of newspaper um, before it's printed on from the you know how you get off cuts of the rolls and things like that for next to nothing um, you, it's great for packaging and things and I'm just using that I use that in a lot of projects because I've got quite a lot of it and I need to use it up and I'm just using some craft and hobby PVA glue and this is the Helmers and I'm just putting this on here and that's mainly just to give me a plain background because I'm using lighter colors to decorate my box and see how that it doesn't matter if I can see the glue because this will be covered as well that's why I'm just using newspaper to do that I'll just trim that up a little bit like that this is a shabby 
box they're going to be and I have made them before I'll put a little photo in here and show you the ones well actually I'll get I've got one here to show you what um, how I've previously done it and I've got a set of these this is the these are the first ones I made um, I made these a couple of years ago now they sit on the other side underneath my desk and they they kind of um, might be a bit dusty they kind of you know sit like like that you know and and sort of see how that's staggered like that that's how I have them um, so I only need to decorate like I would decorate here and I might decorate here and then a little bit on the top that way I can set a box on top of it have a pretty decoration but I don't have to you know um, put flowers all over the top because then I can't stack things on top of it um, so they, they're kept fairly plain but I can use beautiful fabrics on it just let me put this one away right now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, decide what fabric I'm going to use so just I'll be back I'll see what I've got okay so for this larger one here I'm using this larger lace piece um, now with my crafty me stuff I just put it all together whether I've purchased it whether it was a gift or whether it was a, a design team package I just put it all together and I use it all together that's it just it's easy that way um, so I'm using this beautiful beautiful large lace piece over the top of this large box here and this way I get the benefit of seeing the beautiful things um, and then there's this other lovely it's just gorgeous look at that lace here isn't that just beautiful now I'm going to have to trim this one down a little bit but what I want to do with this one is have that going around like that um, but before I do that I'm going to put the sheeting underneath I've got a scrap here to show you what I mean so this is an old piece of sheeting but I don't have enough of this left I'm going to cover put that over the box and then because it always looks nicer with lace over fabric rather than over a painted surface like that and then have that over there and leave the edges you know nice and shabby um, so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put that one on top this one around the the edge there and some sheeting underneath all the way around to make it look nice and then on this box here which is the one I put the newspaper print um, paper on top I'm going to put this beautiful lace here isn't it just lovely look at that um, so I because that's bright white I may uh, no I may leave it white it's nice to have a contrast or I may slightly tea stain it but if I get like an off-white color see so that almost fits on top of there perfectly um, that will show it up quite nicely if I get like a darker underneath it rather than just on the white there um, so I'll work on that and that goes all the way to the back which is nice and then I'll just need to find a lace trim to put around the bottom of this one and then let me put those aside I've got this foam box which will also need covering in fabric now, what am I going to use for that so I've used that I'm using this one on on that one because I can't have two the same this one will 
fit on top of the larger one so I'm not going to use this one on the larger one although you know what I could do I could because I've got a lot of this beautiful lace it's just lovely and it's so soft I could use um, I could use it around the side you know just have it going around the side and I only really need to do that on three sides because I don't because it's under my desk I only see the other side of the box um, and no matter where they're stacked you only really see so I could do that around the bottom of the box that's pretty isn't it and then have a different lace on top Okay, so we'll make some up to move quite quickly. Oh, it's such a busy, busy week. Let me just cut that so I know. And I can use the top part on something else. Let me put that gorgeous lace over here. Okay, so what's that one? Oh, that one goes on that one over there. Okay, so we'll have that one there like that. And now I need something for the top. Although, look, it's got that pattern there. So if I cut it. Well, I may... Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, we could use this on top, perhaps. Now this is part of the purchase that I made. That, oh, I mean you could use soy leaf on top if you wanted to. Um, look at this. Wow, isn't that amazing? I could put that on top. The thing with putting, uh, see, I, yeah. maybe this one will have a doily on top and I can use some of this to decorate the edge of it. That might be an idea. Oh gosh, that's pretty. Um, I will show you my purchase when we pack the boxes up. I'll put, because they're still, they're still in the bag because I've got nowhere to put them. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful, this lace. That's my Christmas present. <laughs> okay so that goes around the edge I need a doily or something for on top let me have a look all right so I've got this doily here it's a little bit bigger but that's okay because this foam lid doesn't have a like a hinged fastener it's just a lid that sits on top so that's kind of how it will look and I think that's it's quite all right it's a little bit tatty around the edges this doily but that's okay it's going to be a shabby look so that that can go on there like that um, I also have this curtaining fabric here uh, it's a it's a valance oh I found that thrifting some time ago it's really pretty I could use that around the edge of that white one so that's that one. See how we had this one here, like that. See the contrast is quite nice. Um, see the band around the top? I could use that. I could use that around there and that would go with that quite nicely I think. Yeah. I think so and it doesn't matter about the stitch line going oh actually um, it doesn't really matter about the stitch line because it's a storage box isn't it <laughs> yep so that goes there like that now you can glue these on with hot glue if you want I don't have any hot glue sticks I think I've got one glue stick left so I'll be using 
what will I be using my Helmar fabric glue for this um, I have to get a new bottle out and that will hold it really nicely um, in place now first thing I do though I need to go and find some more sheeting so that I can cover the boxes now I'm just going to do like I did to this piece of paper I'm basically going to get a piece of fabric that will go from there all the way around to here and glue it on and then a strip that will go around the edge and glue that on once I've done them all and before I put the lace on I will show you all right I'll just show you how that is that's the larger one and I just glued this fabric on which is just a plain white fabric um, with the craft and hobby hobby PVA glue because the lace will be going over the top of that once that's dry of course see and you won't notice that at all and the lace will stand out because that's a white fabric I also did the foam box which is here um, and I did I ended up hinging it see so that's a hinged box now and all I did was run the fabric from the open side here all the way around to the back and that forms its own hinge so that's all covered in the fabric as well I did use a foam glue to stick this one on because it's a foam box and the smaller box um, I'm still waiting for the fabric because I tea stained that fabric because the lace is white on that one so I'm still waiting for that fabric to dry um, so I thought I'd go ahead and start one of these this one's still drying the glue so we'll start with the other one now what were we putting on this one was it this beautiful one uh, I think that what goes on here oh it was this this one here wasn't it we were putting a doily on that one and What were we putting around the bottom? Was it that? And was this going on here? Just let me work this out because I moved. And I think this one might be going on that one. And this one is going around the bottom and I'll cut the top part off. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is put it around the bottom edge. Okay, so we're starting. There's the there's the opening like that so what I think I will do is I'll start at the back I'll s uh, oh I wasn't going to do the back was I that's right okay not with the fancy piece because I don't see the back so let's get the right side of the fabric the lace let's see where I'm going to be so I want to be cutting it just at the top of the pattern like that and that should be I think it's pretty much yeah look it's pretty much spot on is how much I need so I'll cut it first at the top of the pattern here that worked out well didn't it it's a beautiful piece of lace as my cells some of the most unique and beautiful laces um, and so many different varieties so many different varieties okay and in case you didn't know this may store is on Facebook and she has pretty much has a sale every once once a week sometimes more but there'll always be a post at the top of the Facebook page to tell you when the next sale is um, let's change the glasses shall we let's see where we are here
Okay, this is the right size. So I'm going to start at the side here and glue it around like that. Um, yeah. And I'm using for this the Helmar Fabric Glow. Glue on my fingers. <laughs> okay, sorry about the fingers. Uh, that's the PVA glue. I've still got bits of that on there. Um, so it is the right way, isn't it? If it's that difficult that you can't tell the right from the wrong side, then I doubt it's going to make um, a lot of difference on the box. <laughs> so I'm going to put a bit of glue down the edge there. I might put that on here. Like that. Then, oh no, that's the wrong side of the box. Okay, stop, it stop. Ooh, that was close, wasn't it? All right, let's just put that there like that. And stop fussing. I keep thinking I've got that the wrong way, to be honest. Why do I keep thinking that? I just said it doesn't matter. That's the right way there. Okay. All right. So we'll put that there and press that onto that glue that I just put there now that we've got it the, the correct way. Okay, so we're standing on that side, obviously. <laughs> um... I don't, like I know it's, it's fabric glue and you don't really see it, but you do see a little bit of a shine, so I don't want it like blatantly obvious that there's a lot of glue underneath it, so I'll just kind of do that where the pattern is, like that. Doesn't that look pretty? And it's nice to have pretty storage and it's a great way of using the, the lovely laces and things that you have for your own enjoyment. You know, um, otherwise they either sit in a box somewhere or you make it for somebody else and send that away and you don't get the enjoyment for yourself. So this way I get to see the pretty laces and things on a daily basis which is lovely. I'll just trim that there and admire them because I'll have these for eight, you know, years to come. And that's what I'm going to do all the way along the bottom. I'm just going to flip it up like that, put spots of glue, lay it down and stick it down and then I'll be back. Okay, so that is all stuck on. Just, um, there we go. That is all stuck around the side now. And like I said, I don't really need to do that part. I could put a, some of the, the netting across there just to finish it off, which I might do actually. Um, maybe the plainer one at the top there. That way I can still use that, you know, for other things. So maybe I will do that. Okay, let's just cut a piece off then. I could lift it up a bit and get all that little pattern on, I think. There, and glue that on. Okay, so all that is glued on now. And on the back, I just put the the top part of it put a piece of that on the back because that won't really be seen at all. I have this doily to put on but I need to go press that 
um, yeah, I need to go press that and then I can glue that on and that's what that, uh, we might bring it a bit more forward than back just so it covers the corner of the lid part there and that's what that will look like and then it will have a decoration on it as well um, and that's just a matter of gluing that on so I'll press that and I'll glue it on and then I will be back so just gluing the doily on top there all I've done is I hold it up like that and I've got the fabric glue this time and I'm just going around the the join there because I don't really want any glue marks showing through the linen on the doily I'm just doing that and fabric glue does hold very nicely um, there we go just folding it back let's make sure we've got that straight <laughs> or as straight you know these old doilies aren't always perfectly straight but as straight as I can before pressing it down yeah because it's not a perfect oval if you know what I mean but I've got it fairly even there see um, press that down like that and I might just tack it in the corners as well so that when I'm lifting it up and down it you know it's not moving around too much so, um, I won't do the back though because I don't want it to interfere with the hinge so we'll just put some under this corner here cross like that and the same on this side here like that making sure it still opens of course <laughs> uh, just a moment sorry about that so what are we doing putting that there so I'll put it on the edge and a little bit up like that I think to hold that and the same here up like that and up up like that so across there and up a little bit is what I've done just so it holds on to that corner and that one uh, I might put some there as well just under see how it's got that little there's a pattern there if I can get a bit of glue under those parts just so I don't see any shiny glue and that will hold it down like that Let's have a look and there we go that one you can see see this doily is a little bit tattered but that's fine I love that shabby look and that is that box done well it's not done completely I still need to decorate it but I don't know exactly excuse me how to decorate it until I've done the other ones as well so I'll go ahead and I'll put all the lace and fabric on this box and put the lace on the bigger box as well and then I'll be back okay so that's all done this is the larger one and I've just left the little scallop hanging over a bit there and there's the sides as well so it's the larger one and then we have the foam box with the doily on top which will go on and then we have the small one which has got the white lace and the tea stained um, fabric under it and also the curtaining around the edge which turned out quite quite all right sorry that's so close to the camera um, and that will go on top there 
Now this is the fabric I covered the boxes, some of the boxes in before. It's really beautiful. It was a skirt that I found at the thrift store and this is the fabric that I used for the the ties. So I'm thinking to keep it all very much the same. I might just um, snip a strip off the top so I can continue to use this for the bows to tie them. They're not all having bows. Isn't this gorgeous though? This was a skirt. It's really, really beautiful. Love that. And it's nice to have the things you love. Um, use them to decorate your boxes. That way, you know, it's lovely. You get to enjoy it all the time, don't you? So I just thought I'd show you where that isn't it gorgeous that beautiful fabric came from it's got a few pulls on it because it's lame thread but you know that's okay it's a nice nice fabric so and I've kept my little there's the, the pieces that were cut off the laces that I used I can make a little flower out of that edging there that would be so pretty um, Oh, and that little piece there as well. So they will all get used at some stage. Uh, so I'm just, I have found a couple of flowers. I'll just show you. Okay, so these are some flowers that I have been sent. And I just sort of put them to one side. Uh, and I'm going to use these on the corners of the box just to decorate it a little bit it doesn't have to be a lot because by the time you get a bow with it and remember it's got a box sat on top of it so you just need a little glimpse of pretty I think so um, I'm this is a, a good use for those flowers that you are sent by people and you can use them in your decorating that way you get to enjoy them so I'm going to glue these on and then they should be finished Okay, so I'm just going to put a generous amount of glue, and this is fabric glue. Fold the fabric in half a bit, and glue it there so it seeps through the fabric. I think I did like that because I, I didn't mind it looking like that at all. It looked quite pretty. So maybe I'll do the same on these as well. So I'll just glue that bit of glue there and squash that together. Like that. And then out here, crochet doily over that to make that look pretty too instead of it just left like that it could be like a half doily under there that would be a better way of doing it I think Tidy it up a little bit. It's not necessary at all. But just to, there you go. See, makes it a little bit tidier. And that will be. I just want to get. And I don't tie like 
fancy bows or anything. It's um, it's usually a one like that. You know, that's how I want it. Loose and shabby. Oops, sorry, like that. See, it's a bow, but it's only got one loop. Okay, just to look loose and shabby and then which flowers I was going to put the white one on the top so I can put that one, I can put that one and that one on that corner like that. Oh no, oh, okay, I just got beads. <laughs> like that. Um, what else can I do? You could have... I've got tool here. What was I doing with tool the other day? I was doing something. Oh, I've been, I've been doing all sorts. It's been such a busy week. I've made curtains. I've put the Christmas decorations up and they seem to take longer and longer every year. Um, so I've got up there. What else have I done? Christmas shopping because my son finishes school shortly for his summer um, vacation, holidays. So I need to do some Christmas shopping before he's with me all the time. You know, at the moment he's still at school through the day. So, so I might do that and put that bit of tool in there as well. To make it look pretty, and you see how easy they come together, they're not hard, they're really not hard to make at all. And it's a great way, you know, of using packaging. Like I said, it's Christmas, there's going to be a lot of boxes around use them or use them for your mo mailing your postage and things so you recycle them there there and um because i've got a box coming across there i'm not going to decorate that part at all i'm just going to decorate this corner here There we go. Uh, glue. So there we go. Like that, like that, like that to tie in with the other boxes that are on this, you know, with this. Like that, see, and nice and shabby. It helps keep the box secure. Not that it's really going anywhere, but if you're carrying it around or something like that, it's very useful. Now I just need to do the. Whoops! I just pulled that off. Silly, wasn't it? There we go. Okay, let it dry, Jeanette. I'll put the white one on top of the little box on top. I might just. Trim that a bit. That's it. Um, and the foam box, I don't know if I'm doing anything to that. I'll have to think about that. So that's that's that one. So this doily is one of the purchases that I made from Crafty Me Shop as my Christmas present. And making sure I've got it the right way, which I, I think I have. And I thought I would put it, because, you know, that's quite plain there, I thought I might pop it on top here so that I get to enjoy it more. And just sort of stretch it out a little bit. It kind of leaves a little bit showing, but it's not that noticeable. And I think that looks really pretty. I'm just looking through the viewfinder to make sure I've got it pretty well 
centered because when you're not right on top of it it can be a little bit hard to see if it's in the middle and I'm quite sure that is uh, gosh I hope that's the right way I'm having a lot of trouble to, yeah it is it is the right way it's a bit messier on the other side than this side unless they're a shiny type of thing it can be difficult to know if you've got it the right way or not and this these a lot of these ones aren't shiny so let's just put this on really pretty just adds a little bit more texture doesn't it so I got all my Christmas things up I've just I have to make a couple of things decorations something for on top of my cupboard just to fill the gap um, and something like I've taken some plates off the wall that are normally on the wall just for Christmas and I want to put something in their place so I've got to have a think about what to do for that is that that looks that's all right that's fine and then with the bat the the fabric I'm just going to put a bow there is that the opening side I better make sure that's the opening <laughs> um, just a bow I think on this one no flowers and things and it doesn't have to tie so I'll just put a bow on top there and hopefully that will be fine and then I can put Eva's things back inside of there till I use them of course so, oops I'll trim those bits I think that's about the center that fabric there we go so we've got two doilies on that one top one from crafty me shop the bow and the beautiful lace around the edge very um, simple yet beautiful storage and then I've just got one more I'll get it so this is what I might do so I've got this flower that I showed you this is a flower here but it's a bit yellow in the center I'm thinking so I might need to put something in the middle and one of these beautiful appliques see how that's just going to sort of drape down the corner of that box there just the corner that will be peeking out so I'm going to put that there um, and I kind of have to have it on an angle like that because I can't put the flower over there I need to have the flower there but I don't want to lose the pretty applique so a little bit of it those beads there will be covered unfortunately but um, you know it's a sacrifice <laughs> okay so we'll It. 
do that like that. That way I can put a bit of glue under here. Hold that there, and that will be really pretty. Just adding a little bit of sparkle to it. Put this on. That can go on there. Um, so I might need a flower in the center of that one because it looks a bit bit too yellow. Okay, I've decided to use one of these beautiful flowers from this lovely, lovely, oh it's gorgeous, trim from Crafty Me Shop. See how it's got the little tiny beads in it? It's so pretty and it's very heavy lace. Oops. Um, so I've put a piece of that under there. Well, at least that's what I'm thinking I will do. Put that one under there like like that. I don't think it needs anything really. It's so pretty the way it is, isn't it? Just like that. Kind of brings the colour of the applique up there a bit too. And that will be because it's just sort of that corner you, you see. Oh, and I want to put a bit of um oops. <laughs> uh, this tool in there as well. This one doesn't need a big bow on it. I would use my other tool which is nicer but this this one is whiter the other one's more creamy colored and I didn't want it too creamy it's nice to have some of the whites in there as well okay so do I want to how do I want that I put one there and one there Uh, and like that. And like that. Just give it a bit of a pull so it softens it a little bit. So that one could go in there like that. Just to add something. Um and maybe over here a bit like that perhaps I think so yeah like that properly in there yeah okay that's what I'm going to do that one's glued on, and that one's glued on, so I just need to glue this one on. I've been working on my paint by numbers as well. Um, I've spent quite a few hours on that, honestly, but you'd never know. It, <laughs> it takes such a long time. It's going to be nice when it's finished, I'm sure. Just taking a bit longer. Um. Ah! No! Don't do that. Okay, like that. Staying there. Oh, glue. It's so sticky because the weather's hot. One we were going to put under here, I think. Like that. I can. Ah, sticking to my fingers. I can give it a, a fluff once my fingers aren't as sticky and once it's completely dry. Oh, I hope you're seeing that. I get a few comments sometimes commenting that I'm out of frame and I do apologize for that it's I'm not a 
professional movie maker or anything like that. I just have fun with this. And I, I, they're not, I don't think people are trying to be rude, they're just sort of saying. Um, and I don't realise until I'm watching the video back a lot of the time. And by that time, you know, you're not going to go and remake something, are you? There we go. How's that? See the fluffiness on that? So we have the applique lace from Crafty Me Shop. We have the beautiful pearl. Isn't that pretty? Um, applique from Crafty Me Shop. And that one opens. How does that one open? Make sure I got it the right way. That one opens quite easily like that. It can have some tissue paper or something in there. I'm not going to go as far as doing the inside. If I was making it to send to somebody, I probably would. But not just for myself. I'll just put some... I've got some tissue paper, actually. Let's do that now. Pepsi of Helen, and of course I've been working on Helen's book, you know, designing what I want to do, and starting on the dress. Just taking that apart carefully, so you know, just a lot of things going on in the background right now. There we go, how's that? i put that more like that. That way, when I put things in there, what was I putting in here? I think this was just spare. Then I can wrap the tissue over it and then close the box and have my little treasures in a nice, pretty place. So, there's that one. There's this one here, which is the box ever sent me. So open that up and I'll put some pretty tissue paper in here. And of course as I use things, different things will go in there. There we go. Now where's all these things here? Oh very careful. Beautiful glass pieces. Some fabrics. So we'll pop those in there. I've got a piece of foam. There's a piece of foam. There's gorgeous beaded bits there. Um, there's a bit of foam. Floated away, I think. Um, No, it was around here. I'll find, I'll find something because I need to know they're there. I don't want to hide them, otherwise, you know, they'll um, clunk around. Oh, I know what I'll do. Because they're glass. Oh, they're beautiful. If I open that up a bit there, like that, I'll be able to see them. Be able to see them nicely there. Okay, there we go. So that's that one done. And put that aside, and I'll put a photo up at the end of what it all looks like together. I did have to rearrange it a little bit. And so this is the other one here that I made and this already has some crafty me thing me shop things in it this has got all the colored bits in it so if I want to make something with color I know to come to this this box here but I bought some colors See, look. I bought this gorgeous gorgeous trim I wanted to get the other ones as well but I I had to go out that day it was a Saturday morning here and I had to take my son somewhere so I wasn't able to stick around for the whole sale um, and I'm, I didn't I only got this 
particular one which is really pretty look at that isn't that pretty we'll put that in there because that's a that's a color and see so you get to see what I bought well yeah you get to see what I bought um, I mean I didn't go too far overboard I bought oh, absolutely gorgeous look at this but this will have to go into it the other box there's that one there. Oh, I can put it in this white one, can't I? It's empty. This one. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I got that one. I love that. So this little box isn't going to hold a great deal, is it? But it will hold enough. I also got this one. Gorgeous dangle lace, isn't that beautiful? So these are my Christmas presents. A bit early, but I've only just used started using them, so I did wait till December. Um, I've got this beautiful this this pink one. Is it pink? It is a. I think so. I thought it was. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Love it. So that one can come in here because that's a colour as well. I also have a couple of fabrics and I might just leave those in the plastic. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at that one. Oh, I love it. It's so, so pretty. It's like a chiffon fabric. It's sheer. Gorgeous fabric. So that one and the beautiful blue satin. So I'll leave those ones in the bag. They can go in here as well because they're colours. Uh, the other ones can't because they're not colours. I've got this lovely trim as well. So that can go in here. Oh, that was a bit messy, wasn't it? It's nice to keep them as tidy as you can. That way when you come to use them, they, they look decent still. I've got... Oh, I love this. Oh, my God. Oh, there's, oh, there's two. There's this piece here. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I got that one. And this one. I'm never going to cut this. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> and I don't have to because I bought this myself. <laughs> I will, but not just yet. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, and that's quite long. So, oh, I love that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love it. Should have covered a box in it so I could maybe that's what I'll do I'll make a really elaborate box one day or something and I'll use it for that so I've always got it so that can go in that little box there as well and I also got um, these two beautiful silver appliques aren't they gorgeous I love silver appliques so they can go into this one as well so that's that one. Let's hope it shuts. That's only a little box, isn't it? Maybe I should have put a bow on it so it stays shut. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's not doing too bad. There we go. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. going to be glued just under here Maybe 
this one over here maybe it should come from under there where it's a bit stronger half that we cut off before. So we use that. And just to finish it off. Come on glue. Yeah. That should be alright. I won't tie it just yet because I need those to dry completely um, before tying them up. Let's see what it looks like though. That should be a little bit more discreet down there. And hopefully it will It will either tie down there or up under there. I just don't want to pull it too tight right now. So that's what I'll do with that one. That way that can stay exactly how it is. Okay? So that's that. All done. All done. I've got my beautiful colours in here. I've got to put that away. I've got to put the other things away. So, although that doesn't have tissue paper in it at the moment, I'll have to put some in. Yes, yes I will. I'll do that afterwards because this video is probably quite long enough already. Okay, so that, that. be one in between those two I think yes a different one anyway that's it I finished my boxes um, I'll just wait for the glue to dry on that other one and then I'll stack them up and take a photo for you I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope it wasn't too long um, take care everybody and remember these beautiful beautiful laces and trims are from crafty may shop on Facebook if you're interested or looking for some unique laces, there'll be a link in the description box below. Take care now. Bye. Okay, so this is as you walk in my room. I have a chest of drawers here. My desk is here. And it's the kind of desk that has an opening all the way through. So obviously I sit at the other side and this is the hole where the legs go but I'm not a particularly tall person so I don't need the whole width of the desk for my legs so I might as well use it for storage which I do and this is how I do it um, on this side I have my cubes and I've got this walkway here and so these are my storage boxes, the one, the three at the bottom are the original ones I made and the three at the top are the new ones I made and I think they turned out really pretty. 
I think Molly's in here if there's a crackling noise. I'm using a different camera, so it's a little bit hard to see in this viewfinder, but um, they do look very pretty. Like they are fussy and decorative, but because they're in a neutral colour, they don't overpower the space at all. And there's still plenty of room for me to walk through here quite easily. So there we go. That is my um, Crafty Me shop project for this week. It's a very simple one, I know, but it is very useful. Um, everybody needs storage and I think, well, it may as well be pretty because I'm in here almost every day and um, it's nice to walk in and see pretty things around you. You could also put tags on it so you know what's in there. Uh, I have, you know, I've got, I've got tags on these cubes here just to make it easy for me to find things so I'm not looking through three bins, three or four bins every time I want to find something. Um, I can just look at it. I mean, I generally know where everything is, but it's, it's useful. It's very useful to have tags, like on my drawers over there. They've got labels on them. My son laughed at me. He says, why do you need to label everything? I said, because it makes things easy. Um, and the less time we have finding things, the more time we have for playing with our things. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like this project. And I hope you'll consider using some of your old packaging especially around Christmas time, for either like reposting or making into some pretty storage for yourself. Take care, everybody. Bye.